Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In the last video, we saw the basics of Unity scripting. In this video, we are going to learn about Unity Colliders. Colliders is a very important topic in game development. Most of the interaction between game objects is through collisions. In Unity, collision is detected between a physics and a non-physics object or between two physics objects. So what I mean by physics object is the object responds to physics laws. Now let's get into how Unity detects collision. Now we have a cube in our scene. This cube has a box collider connected to it. Now without a collider, collision detection will not happen in Unity. So if you don't have a collider component in your game object, you can go ahead and click on add component and search for collider. And as you can see, there are different types of colliders. Now these colliders depend on the shape and what type of game you are making. If you are making a 2D game, then you have to connect a 2D collider to it. And depending on the shape of your game object, it can either be a box collider, capsule collider, so, uh, spear collider. Or if you have a custom shape, then you can either go for mesh collider or in case of 2D, you can go for a custom collider. So after you have attached a collider, you also need a rigid body component. Now, it is not mandatory for both the objects to have a rigid body component. At least one of them should have a rigid body component. So let's add one more game object, 3D game object. Let's add a spear to it. And let's move the spear a little bit away from the cube. Now, as you can see, there's a spear collider connected to it. And if you want to edit the collider, you can click on this button here. And then you can see in the scene view that there are dots available on this. And you can use those dots to move your collider. Something like this. So once you set your collider size and shape, now you need to add a rigid body component. Now as I said earlier, rigid body is, re is required in at least one of the game objects that is colliding. If both the game objects do not have a rigid body, then the collision will not be detected. To understand it better, Unity has a collision matrix. Now this is Unity's basic collision matrix. As you can see, a rigid body collider will basically collide with all three types of colliders. A static collider is something that does not react to physics and is considered as a static object like walls, Rigid body is something that obeys the laws of physics. We'll go into kinematic rigid body a little later. So as of now, you should understand without a rigid body, collision will not be detected. So now I have a spear with a rigid body collider that is rigid body attached to it and a spear collider attached to it. Rigid body will obey all the laws of physics. So if used, gravity is checked. So as soon as you play the game, the gravity should act on the spear. So when you play the game, gravity acts on the sphere and as you can see the sphere pushes the cube away and falls down so this was a basic collision now if i set my sphere to is kinematic then it will not obey the laws of physics so basically this option is used to switch between physics and non-physics during the game so now with my kinematic check with my is kinematic check true if i play the game the sphere will not fall. So if I uncheck it, now it's again back to a physics rigid body. Now there is one more option called is trigger. Now trigger is basically when you want the collision to be detected, but you don't want the two objects to physically collide with each other. So when is trigger is checked and I play the game, the sphere will basically go through the cube the collision will be detected, but it will not affect the cube. So when is trigger is set to be false and I play the game, the sphere will basically collide with the cube. So when you want two objects not to physically interact with each other, but you want the collision to be detected, then you use is trigger. Now that we know when the collision will be detected, now how to get this in the script? So we already have a move script attached to our cube. Let's use the same script. So let's open it for editing. 
Now we don't require the update and the start function. We require a new function called on collision enter. Now it's so it returns nothing. So let's void on collision enter. Now all collision enter takes the collider as the input. So since this there is a collider attached to it, when this collider collides with another collider, this will return true. And this sorry, this function will be called. So when this function is called, we want to return debug.log what it has collided with. So that information will be available in the call variable dot game object. So this will tell us what the cube has hit. Let's save the script and go back to Unity. And now we have the cube with the script on collision script. So when we play the game and the sphere hits the cube, so we can see here that the object that has collided with the cube is a sphere. Now, if the on trigger function is enabled and we play the game, the on collision enter will not be called. That's because for if your if your collider is set as a trigger, then you have to use on trigger enter. So this will change to on trigger enter and this will become collider. So now if we save the script and play the game, the sphere will go through the cube but you'll also know what object has hit the cube. So as you can see, it has returned the spear. So when it is set as trigger, you have to use on trigger enter. And when it is set as not trigger, then you have to use on collision enter. So with these two functions, you'll be able to know which object has hit you and you can decide on the course of action. You can either destroy the object or you can scale the object. That depends on you and your requirement for your game. Let me remove the use gravity option from rigid body so that way the sphere will not fall on the cube and we'll be able to manually move the sphere. So let's play the game. Let's clear the message and the logs. And now in the scene view, if I move the sphere towards the cube, when it collides, we get the collider message. So that's because the rigid body is present and since we are not using gravity, the cube is not and the sphere is not falling on its own. So now let's stop the game and remove the rigid body from the sphere. Now if we start the game and move the sphere manually and collide it with the cube, none of the function is called. That's because there is no rigid body present in the game. So this thing has to be very clear to you that without a rigid body, collision is not detected. Even if the rigid body is set as kinematic, it will not be detected. At least one of the game objects should be a rigid body which is not kinematic. And both the game objects should have colliders. So that is the basics of Unity colliders. And we'll see how to add uh, colliders or any other component using script in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.